This is big breaking emergency news. We are now seeing multiple cities, counties, states around the country. They are now announcing they are going to have mass deportations. That is what multiple cities, counties are announcing. And also the White House is announcing itself that they want to have more deportations. All right. So this is a major turnaround. This is a major about face to see this coming from these sanctuary cities. And they are saying that they want to cooperate now with ICE. Multiple different cities, multiple different counties have come out in the past few days saying that they are going to cooperate with ICE and deport potentially thousands of people. All right. That is what we are dealing with right now. All right. So this is a win. This is actually a major win for a country if they follow through, but this is also most likely a political thing because they know that this looks terrible. They know that this looks absolutely terrible for a country, this crime and this border situation that we are dealing with. Look at these numbers really quick, all right? Just yesterday, right, Customs and Border Patrol sources reported that there were over 7,000 migrant encounters just yesterday, and it was led by the Tucson sector with 1,800 plus apprehensions in that one sector along the Tucson, Arizona sector. It says San Diego sector had 1,200 plus, and the El Paso sector had 1,200 plus as well. All right, and it says the majority of that was in New Mexico from the El Paso sector. All right, so this is what's happening in our country. 7,000 is incredible. 7,000 is insane. 7,000 a day times 30 days is 210,000 a month. That is absolutely insane. That is bigger than a lot of the major cities in our country. I believe Des Moines, Iowa only has 200,000 people. Insane, the influx, and it is not sustainable. And now we are seeing multiple cities and counties they are announcing these mass deportation programs and we have a call from the white house for deportations as well all right so let's dive into this first county here this first city here really quick hit it up for me down there hit that like hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated what's going on in our country this important news that they do not want getting out all right they are trying to block this crisis from being shown in the media because they know it looks absolutely terrible and nobody wants this nobody no american citizen actually wants this or is voting for this all right you can see here it says maryland county to open ice cooperation after past stonewalling and previous release of illegal immigrants it says montgomery county in maryland is now working with immigrations and customs enforcement ice after a productive meeting about honoring ICE detainers. And this county is right outside of Washington, D.C. It's essentially touching Washington, D.C. It's surrounding it, this Montgomery County in Maryland. So this is right here in our nation's capital where we're having intense crime. There was a crime wave in this county just recently. Multiple illegal immigrants arrested for crimes. And now we're seeing, they're saying, hey, we're going to, turn around and we are going to deport people and cooperate with ICE. Reeves is saying that ICE will go into the community and locate many of these illegal aliens and will bring them into custody, but stress that releasing them onto the streets poses a threat to both ICE agents and the public. He says, quote, any at-large operation like that, it's just an inherent risk and risk to the officers and risk to the subject of our arrest and say risk to our normal day-to-day -day citizens that happen upon the scene. He said, quote, the most violent folks potentially have weapons on them, and you can have incidents where they take off in their vehicles and crash into other folks, and it's just a whole host of issues that would not occur if the detainers were being honored. We could come to the jails, and we could take them out of the jails in a safe environment and move them towards their immigration hearings, All right? That is what this ICE director out of Maryland is saying all right so they're saying they're going to cooperate we also have new york city now announcing that they are going to have mass deportations and talking about 
denouncing their sanctuary city laws. And we have the White House warning that cities need to cooperate with ICE because this is a national security threat. But I want you to listen to what the New York City mayor was saying really quick about the sanctuary city status of his city. Those small numbers that are committing crimes, we need to modify the uh, the sanctuary city law that if you commit a felony, a violent act, we should be able to turn you over to ICE and have you deported. It is a right to live in this city and you should be you should be not committing crimes in our city and doing so. Right now, we don't have the authority to do so. All right, so even New York City is announcing that they want to deport these criminals. They are allowing people that beat up their cops. They just exonerated this one guy and he was let off the hook completely. And then the other members fled to California, right? After they got a no bail for beating up police officers in the middle of New York City, All right? So they are now turning about face for their sanctuary city policy as well. And they are trying to have deportations and they are going to cooperate with ICE most likely. And this is needed 7,000 people a day. I told you guys just happened yesterday, 7,000 plus just yesterday at our Southern border. And this isn't even peak time. This isn't even peak time. We've had, there's been days where there's 12,000 people a day, insane, unsustainable. That's over 300,000 a month, right? And there were over 300,000 in the month of December. I believe there were like 304,000 people that crossed in December alone. Absolutely astronomical for our country. All right, and also the White House is calling on sanctuary cities to cooperate with ICE amid fear over illegal immigrant crimes. All right, the White House is calling for, quote, sanctuary cities and jurisdictions across the U.S. to cooperate with immigrations and customs enforcement and turning over criminal illegal immigrants for deportation. Just as there is renewed scrutiny over such policies in the wake of several high-profile crimes committed by illegal immigrants who had previously been released by local law enforcement despite, despite pleas from ICE. All right, so the White House has turned around, even though they just said actually a few weeks ago that they're going to release people from their prisons, right? I made a whole video on that, how they're talking about ISIS going to lower their bed count by 15 to 20,000 people and just release all these people instead of detain them. But they realize this policy looks terrible. It's 2024 and they better do something quick because this is the biggest issue for people in the country right now. And people are pissed and we don't want our country being destroyed and being invaded like this all right the white house said quote we welcome local law enforcement support and cooperation and apprehending and removing individuals who pose a risk to national security or public safety a white house spokesperson said they also said quote when a local jurisdiction has information about an individual who could pose a threat to public safety we want them to share that information with ice all right so They are turning around. They're saying that they want these sanctuary cities to cooperate with ICE so they can deport these criminals and stop this crime and get this migrant crime wave out of the news because it's spreading. There's a ton of stuff that I don't even report on. I can't even report on here because it's so insane. The stuff that's it's graphic, it's violent. A lot of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, even on here. I can't even report on it. So please hit it up for me down there. Please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Keep you guys updated every single day, multiple videos a day on what's going on in our country. And they are announcing mass deportations now because this problem has gotten out of hand, right? So let's hope that this is the start of something good. This could be the beginning of a turnaround, but it also could just be a little bit of fluff to act like they're doing something. And then in the background, things are just going to get a lot worse because the border is still wide open. Biden is still saying that there's nothing he can do on the border. He just said yesterday when he was at the border that he cannot do it through executive action and he needs Congress to do it. But on day one, 
when Biden got in, he and within the first hundred days, he signed around he signed over ninety executive orders dismantling Trump's executive orders that he put in for the border and for border security. He dismantled them one by one. And the first day in office, he signed a bunch of these and he ended the national emergency that was declared at our border. All right, there was a national emergency declared by President Trump through executive order for the southern border crisis. And day one, Biden got in. He ended that national emergency and ended all these different policies that we are now seeing the aftermath and seeing the repercussions of this policy. All right, so make sure you are getting prepared. Make sure you're getting ready. Make sure you're getting out of these big cities, all right? These big cities are, they are allowing them to collapse. For some reason, they are accelerating the collapse of these cities and you need to be trying to get out of them, trying to work your way out, trying to get on the land, all right? We're out here on some land. We got our chickens. We got our garden going. We got a ton of chickens and we're building coops, right? We already got chicks that are laying eggs over here. We got babies in the brooder, all right? We're working on this stuff right now because we know it could happen. Big things could happen at a moment's notice. That's how a lot of these things are. And in these big cities, it's going to be very chaotic if things hit the fan there, especially with hundreds of thousands of people that are not U.S. citizens that are agitated and they are upset because things are going to start be, being taken away because these cities are running out of resources and running out of money, running out of food, running out of housing for these people that are coming here. We don't even have enough for our American citizens to just give away freely, but for some reason we have enough for everyone on earth to come to the United States and freely get these resources. All right, so... Thank you guys. Make sure you're getting prepared. Make sure you're getting stocked up. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.